Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. Today we're gonna to talk about a new line of graphics cards from AMD. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you also were paying attention to the highly promoted GPU 14 event in Hawaii. So I should point out right away that this discussion, this launch is not about the brand new Hawaii GPU itself. This is not about the R9 290X graphics card. Instead, what AMD is choosing to start with is uh, the R9 280X, the R9 270X, and the R7 260X, which I have out here in front of me. Uh, this Asus Retail Ready card is our 280X. We have a reference of the R9 270X right here, and we have a reference of the uh, R7 260X here as well. This is the little guy obviously going to be a little bit on the cheaper side. Now what I want to make sure we're very upfront about here is that the all three of these cards, they're not new GPUs. They are essentially rebrands and repositioning of existing product that is already out in the market. Uh, the R9 280X is essentially, this GPU here is essentially the exact same thing as a Radeon HD 7970 gigahertz edition with a couple of interesting specification changes. The first thing is actually the clock speed is a little bit lower by about 50 megahertz. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. You've got uh, three gigs of memory running at six gigabits per second. Uh, it's same board power, uh, same crossfire configuration. If we actually look here on the card, uh, you can see we still have our two standard crossfire connectors and uh, it, it's basically the same board that you've maybe seen from ASUS and other vendors before. What has changed, and what I am actually kind of a fan of, is the new output configuration here. They've gone with something that's very familiar if you've followed the uh, NVIDIA GTX 7, uh, 700 series of cards. They've got two DVI outputs, a full-size HDMI, and a full-size display port, which I think gives you the most flexibility in terms of connecting monitors you may already have or adding to monitors you already have without necessarily requiring you to have display port. Another thing that changes with this generation of card, if we look at the display outputs, is that Ifinity now no longer requires you to use a display port connection. If you want, you can connect uh, a monitors to HDMI, DVI, and DVI and support a triple panel setup, 5760 by 1080 resolution there. So obviously you can use an HDMI to DVI adapter and you get the same flexibility that you have with the NVIDIA GTX 700 series cards in terms of setting up a multi-display configuration. So that's a nice change and it's actually across the entire series. So the uh, 280X and its reference speed is actually a little bit slower than the 7970 gigahertz edition. This ASUS uh, top model actually happens to be overclocked a little bit above what the HD 7970 gigahertz edition was. So we can, uh, we'll talk about performance here in just a little bit as well. Now this is the R9 270X. It is equivalent to the Radeon HD 7870 gigahertz edition. Uh, this runs at a little bit higher frequency, I think 50 megahertz. The memory clock is up a little bit higher as well. Uh, very similar board power. Uh, otherwise, again, a very similar design. You can see here uh, that this has, uh, still plays on the black and red design that AMD and the Radeon brand has been popular or has popularized, but uh, a little bit unique, a little bit different there. It has the same output configuration here, two DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. Again, uh, I'm a big fan of that. So the, uh, otherwise it's the same, you do notice that there's only a single, single Crossfire connector here as well. So this is basically a 7870 gigahertz edition, just a little bit faster. Um, Moving on, we've got the R7 260X. This is essentially the same GPU as the Radeon HD 7790. This was a card that came out uh, earlier this year as the Bonaire GPU. It was the only Sea Islands card that actually came to fruition and was released uh, to the public. Here you can see, if we look at it, it's a, it's a small form factor design. It's a uh, very l small PCB height, a single six pin power connector. One, S, uh, one crossfire connector rather, and the same output configuration as well, two DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. Uh, very similar performance, very similar pricing, but that is really the key difference in all of these cards. So the reference Radeon uh, R9 280Xs are gonna be 299 bucks. Compare that to the price of the 7970 gigahertz edition as recently as last month, we're talking about a $70 price drop, and that's very significant. Uh, and it kind of goes into how that card is positioned against the NVIDIA competitors. The 
R9-270X is going to sell for $199 compared to the 7870 gigahertz edition prices from a month ago. That's about $20 or $30 less. And then the R7-260X is $139, which is actually not a price drop really at all, maybe $10 compared to the 7790 as recently as September and August. So where does that leave us, right? So if these are rebrands or repositionings, why are they interesting and why are they exciting? It really comes down to performance and pricing. The R9-280X is going to be pitted against two NVIDIA cards, the GTX 770, which is $100 more expensive than it, or the GTX 760, which is about $50 less expensive than it. And in my testing, through a host of new games, uh, this is very, very close to the performance of a GTX 770. It actually beats it in several instances, both in its reference clock speed and obviously the overclocked model that we have here. That puts NVIDIA's uh, kind of lineup in an interesting position. They're gonna have to adjust pricing if they really wanna stay competitive in that market. For the 270X, at 199 bucks, its direct competitor is the GeForce GTX 660. And it greatly outperforms the GTX 660 at that price point and is actually able to keep up with, in many cases, the GTX 760 that is $50 more expensive than the, uh, R7, or the R9-270X. And then this one's a little bit more interesting. Uh, the 260X is 139 bucks. The sub $150 graphics market is there's like 100 million cards underneath that price point. So there's lots of competition here. We chose to compare it to the GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost, in particular the two gigabyte model because this card has two gigs. We wanted to keep the uh, frame buffer options uh, comparable there. In that case, in most instances, the 650 Ti Boost was actually faster than uh, the R7 260X with about a $10 price delta advantage going to AMD there. So for the extremely price sensitive markets, there's gonna be a lot more discussion back and forth uh, about which card is the best for you there. Power consumption is pretty even across the board. It really does come down to price performance. As it stands today, as these cards launch, the 280X is clearly the best card at the $300 price point, and the 270X is clearly the best card at the $200 price point. The 260X is a little bit more up in the air, depends on, uh, on what kind of features and, and that kind of thing that you're looking for at the $130 to $140 price point. Uh, but obviously AMD has winners with the 280X and the 270X. It will be very interesting to see what NVIDIA's response is to this. As far as I know, they don't have new products ready to compete with these. Uh, and we'll have to see how much wiggle room they feel like they need to take advantage of to bring these prices down to really remain competitive with AMD in the market. And of course, we already know about the AMD Radeon 290X. That's going to be their new flagship part. We don't know pricing. We don't know performance yet. Uh, but where that jumps into the product stack will be very interesting as well. So if you want to get more details on these graphics cards, including a whole bunch of benchmarks, power consumption numbers, discussion about Ifinity and Crossfire and all those details that I'm sure you want, check out the full review. It's on PCPer.com as of today. We'll have a link in the notes of this video. And uh, let us know if you have any questions and be sure you keep checking back because we're eager to show you the 290X as well. I'm Ryan Shrout for PC Perspective. Thanks for watching.